In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at my webspiration as an alternative to inspiration and as a way to get your students to be graphic organizers, make outlines, and do brainstorming or concept mapping. So the website we're using is mywebspiration.com, and there's a link to that at the, in this blog post. Once you get an account there and you're signed in, what you'll have the ability to do is either create new documents or manage any open documents. So by default, let's go ahead and uh, start a new document here, a blank document. And what you'll see for those of you who've used Inspiration before is the basic drawing tools and shape tools that you have over here in your tools palette. And anytime you click one of those objects, it'll come out onto the stage. And the first default object is your main idea. So everything's going to be tied to all of these shapes and how the shapes are linked together. And then the graphic organizer will also be tied to an outline. So for now, if we click on Outline View, what you'll see is that there's just one main idea. So as we add objects, you'll see how the outline will get built. So a couple of things about basic screen orientation. You have the toolbar here to the left, which has a list of any common shapes and preset uh, clip art types of things that you can use in your, out in your graphic organizer. Down towards the bottom, you have uh, font control, font size, style, color, then also uh, link style, arrow directions and then colors for your objects or shapes that you would embed, any of the starred projects, some of your usernames, email, contact, and the zoom controls to the bottom right, and then some of the more web 2.0 type of collaborative tools like chat, comment, or collaborate that you could invite users to work on the same presentation that you're currently working on. Up in the upper right corner you'll notice these three key green dots right here. Uh, that's the autosave option, and since we're working on an exclusively online environment, as you create and move and manipulate objects, you'll notice in the upper right that the word saving pops up and the three green lights will flash. That's an indicator to you that your document is automatically saving. So let's go ahead and get a couple of other main ideas in there. You can click away from your first main idea and click another symbol, click away and click any other symbol. Obviously, you can come down here once the object is selected in color, choose a different color, fill value or stroke value as you see appropriate for your diagram, and then you can move on from there. Just by double clicking on any object, you'll get the uh, text option. And we can call this sub item one, and we can call this one sub item two. Okay, so if we swing over to outline view now that we've got three objects in our composition, you'll see that we have main idea, sub item one, and sub item two, but there's no indention here, uh, so it's not really a properly formatted outline. To do that, what you would simply do is grab from main idea one, and you'll notice on the outside handles you have squares, and those are to resize based on the corners, and you also have diamonds, and the diamonds are to connect one shape to another. So if I click out of the main idea one, drag over sub item one, they're connected. I could repeat this process by clicking on that diamond again and dragging out to sub item two and now those items are connected. Now if I swing over to my outline view what you'll see is that the main idea is up at the top as the, the uh, outline heading and then you have Roman numeral one and Roman numeral two for my sub item one and sub item two. And the same logic follows if I create another object here and call that you know, detail one, and then have that come off of sub item one. Swing back over to outline view, and you'll see now if I go from my main idea out to my sub items and then to my details, you'll notice that the outline is properly formatted. So once you have that outline and those objects built, you can obviously pick different clip art, different ideas there, and you have some other sharing options. You can publish to a web page that will give you a link to a URL. You could also collaborate, share that with additional users, or you could also use submit work and submit it to your teacher by email, who could then grade it, add comments, and return the work to you, or you could do a collaboration with groups. So there are lots of options that you have for creating, also for distributing and publishing, but those are the quick and dirty basics. So go ahead to mywebspiration.com and try your own. Thanks for watching.